Elizabeth Blackwell, Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, you always preferred that, didn't you? I did. I did. It wasn't easy, uh, either going to medical school or being called doctor once you graduated. Um, there was a tendency for women doctors to be called doctors. In fact, the New England Female Medical College was suggested when they graduated that they would have that title of doctors. And uh, we did the same training as the men. I think we deserve the same title as the men, doctor. Certainly. Now, as you enter your 80th year, let's consider all you've been through and all that you've done. Can you tell us about your start in England? Well, my start was in England, in Bristol, in England. My father uh, owned a sugar refinery. There were nine children, and sometimes uh, my father's sisters, the maiden sisters, lived with us, and sometimes my grandmother. And my father was in a real interesting position in that he owned a sugar refinery, but he was an abolitionist. So he had a real tension between, well, how do you grow sugar cane and who grows it and who harvests it and the industry and slavery. And so he always hoped he could grow sugar beets because he thought that would be a better way. But while we were in England, uh, there was a lot going on. There was the um, labor force was beginning to uh, stand up to the industrialist saying, um, you know, demanding rights, demanding rights. And my father was on that side. Uh, women's rights were becoming an issue. And uh, so it, it was a time of a, of a bit of tension. So his, when his refinery burned down, and about the same time there was a cholera epidemic, he decided we should move to New York. So we relocated to New York. I was about 11 then. And you came to New York City and he reestablished his business. Yes, he had another sugar refinery in, um, in, in the New York, New Jersey area and we lived there. Uh, and that was an interesting time because he had, because he was an abolitionist, uh, he had William Garrison over to our home. And so we were sort of indoctrinated into uh, what it was like to really uh, be opposed to slavery. And then, unfortunately, that sugar refinery burned down, and so we relocated once more. 